This video will demonstrate how to use database parameters to create updatable scaffolding for your projects from a database schema. For this demo, our database will have only two tables, customer and order. A one-to-many relationship exists between customer and orders. For this demo, we already have a solution with one project named console application. The T4 awesome environment has been activated and we have created two T4 items to generate our scaffolding. The main T4 item is a file item that contains one database table parameter and two outputs, one for our class file and one for our interface file. The second T4 item is a custom item that contains one database full schema parameter. Before we can use any database parameters, we must first define our database connection. This is done in the Environment Configuration Dialogs DB Connections tab. A DB connection in T4 Awesome consists of a unique name, provider type, and valid connection string. To assist in creating the connection strings, you can use the standard Data Connection Builder Dialogs by clicking the Build Connection button. For this demo we'll add a connection to a local MS SQL database file named T4ADemo.MDF and give it a connection name of T4ADemo. After we add the DB connection we must click the Save button on the Environment Configurations dialog to commit our changes. A prompt confirming the changes have been saved successfully lets us know we can now safely close the Environment Configuration dialog. Now that we have our DB connection defined, we can continue by rendering our custom item. This is done by right-clicking the Solution Explorer and invoking the Add New T4 Item Context menu. This menu will display the Render Item window with a filter set to only show custom items. We select our Build DT Oz custom item. The single database schema parameter for this item requires us to set a connection before continuing. We choose the one we created earlier named T4A Demo and click the OK button. T4 Awesome will render the custom item. A confirmation dialog will appear as soon as the render process is complete. We can now check the Solution Explorer again and see our newly created project items. Using the database schema parameter, this custom item has rendered one DTO class and one interface class in separate files for each database table in our DB connection. The contents of each of these files is actually defined in our new DTO file item. As we learned earlier, this file item has one database table parameter and two outputs, one for our class file and one for our interface file. Our custom item merely performed a loop of all the tables in the database, then for each iteration called our file item passing in the current table. Using this combination of custom and file items we were able to easily create the result you see here. Combining custom items and file items together is a powerful feature in T4 Awesome. Another powerful feature in T4 Awesome is the ability to quickly and easily update our scaffolding. For example, the outputs in our new DTO file item currently use a generic list for collections. We can easily swap this out for an observable collection by simply modifying our DTO and interface outputs. To do this, we right-click the file item in the T4 Items Explorer and invoke the Edit Output Context menu. This will display the Edit Output window. Here we can modify the output template by adding a new namespace and changing the collection type for list type properties. We do the same for the interface output. After all our modifications are complete we re-render the outputs. This can be done in two ways in T4 Awesome, per file or per item. Each file generated by T4 Awesome stores metadata about the render process. You can view this metadata in the standard Visual Studio Properties window. This metadata allows T4 Awesome to provide an update context menu option. Invoking this menu option will re-render the selected file. The render process updates the file directly on disk and causes Visual Studio to detect the change and ask if you want to update the document in the editor. After the file is reloaded, you can see the changes we made earlier and the output templates have been reflected in the updated file. This method is useful in cases where you need to only update a single file, but in our case it would be better to invoke our custom build DTOS item again. Invoking the item again would re-render all files in one step. Now, as you can see, each of our DTO and interface class files have been updated with the changes we made earlier in our output templates. The ability to quickly and easily add new items to your projects that are based on database schema objects is very powerful. In addition to database tables, T4 Awesome exposes stored procedures, views, functions, indexes and constraints to your templates giving you fine-grained control to create any scaffolding you desire. 